Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your spiritual reading for me. So let me just go into the reading. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to do these readings was, um, you know, we, we suffered from a very bad Mercury retrograde in the April, um, the month of April. And so as we progress through, you know, the, the second part of um, where we've been, where we're headed and where we want to be so that we can realign ourselves. And so that the second half of this year can flow a lot smoother for um, for ourselves and for the people that we interact with, okay? So I feel that this is something that's coming through for you. So I'm just going to start with your reading. It feels to me like the main message that is um, coming through here is about reevaluating your values, okay? Reevaluating your values. So I feel almost like a lot of you... Uh, made decisions right because of what was socially acceptable what was socially um, imposed upon you so I feel like there might have been pressure from family there might have been you know societal expectations there might have been like things that you believed in and you you realize oh this is the way to go or when I'm 30 I'm gonna do this when I'm 40 I'm supposed to do this so there's a lot of societal expectations, like the weight of it bearing on you. And I feel a lot of you made a decision to conform. And um, you realize now, in hindsight, that it probably wasn't the right way to go. Okay? And uh, I feel for you that, um, I, for some of you, you're just like, I was too young. I didn't understand the whole story. And so now that you have accumulated more years... You realize you should have waited on that decision. You realize that you might not have hold, known the whole story. That you shouldn't have been impulsive. And the weird thing is, you guys are not impulsive people at all. At all. And so I feel that the social expectation was what really did it for you. Okay, family expectations, friends expectations, just the weight of it. And you made a decision that might have been, you know, rash, that might not have been appropriate for you. It might have been, for all intent and purposes, appropriate for everybody else in your periphery. But it wasn't the right time for you to make this decision. And so, you know, on the heels of that, I feel that for some of you, you might realize that your choices, you know, are limited. Okay, as a result of it, your choices, your options are limited. And for others of you, I feel that, you know, you, you might feel geographically you are restricted. You're not able to um, come and go as you'd like. You're not able to do everything that you want. So I feel that there is this, um, this weight here of um, having to present your, yourself in a socially acceptable manner and not being able to really live out, you know, your quirks, your eccentricities, and, and be the person that you want to be. So the weight of this is trumping this. So it basically means pretty much that, you know, you're, you're going to have to curb the way you behave as a result of these social rules, norms, structures that are in place that feels a little bit oppressive, okay? Um... I honestly feel that some of you, when they mention, you know, reevaluating your values, um, I feel that in the past, finances and, you know, financial stability and accumulating wealth meant everything to you, meant everything, meant everything in the world. And I feel that, you know, you've made very, very um, directed decisions in order to accumulate a lot of wealth for yourself. And then I feel coming through for the past, you know, especially this year, you might realize that these things are not bringing you that satisfaction. And you might realize as well that, you know, what am I living my life for? And whether you're not, or not you're still happy. So I feel like there's this internal conflict that's playing out in your life right now where you are reassessing what's really making you happy and so you might realize as well that it's not the money, it's not the financial stability, it's not all the, the glitzy, glittery, you know, uh, high society, you know, functions. It's not like the, the money in your bank account. Those things are nice. But they're not real because they're not allowing you to live your life in an, in an authentic way. And so I feel here 
there has been a major growth spurt for a lot of you where you are starting to, you know, I guess like take stock and you're you're starting to come out of your shell. You're starting to present, you know, yourself in a true way. And um, I feel that you're emerging from it smartly, like in a very smart manner. You're not trying to, you know, um, upset the status quo. But I feel that you're not going to take things lying down. Okay, so you're doing things, you're, you're gradually taking the steps to um, reorient yourself, to do what makes you happy, and to, I guess, also overturn what is not socially um, you know, acceptable and to figure out why, whether or not that's applicable, applicable in your life and whether or not you know, it's still worth following. So I feel like you are emerging from your shell. I see this, um, this hermit crab like coming out of their shell. And um, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to, to, to do. It's the right thing to, you know, um, to start emerging from this, okay? So I feel that overall things will be okay. Um, the last thing that I'm feeling here is it seems to me as if emotionally you are growing. And I feel like they mention emotionally, but I feel like it's more spiritually, uh, emo like I, I associate the cups energy with um, emotions, but also spirituality. And uh, based on these two cards, I feel almost as if some prayers have been answered very recently. Something that you really wanted. Something that you really, really, um, you prayed and prayed for. Okay? And I feel that now that it's been granted for you, you really do believe in God again. You really believe in the divine. You really believe in, you know, um, this invisible hand that's moving things. So you do believe in universal, you know, energy. And because of it, I feel that the actions that you're going to take moving forward, it's going to be a lot bolder, a lot more vocal, and a lot more directed with this source energy so that you can communicate in a way that is a lot more authentically true to you so that you can come out from behind you know the weight of this societal expectations family expectations and give yourself begin to give yourself a voice and uh, you're going to do it in a very well planned out methodical it's slow, but there's going to be a lot of progress, okay? Slow manner. Um, I feel that you're going to be handsomely, you know, in um, getting very positive reception when you do that. And uh, whatever life has thrown at you, Taurus, whatever you've experienced, it's preparing you for this moment in time, and it's preparing you, you know, for this um, remainder of the year. You're exactly where you need to be, and so... Don't fear it, okay? Emerge from your shell and be the person, be the leader. Start learning those leadership capabilities, qualities that you're meant to be. Because I feel that the world is going to need your, I guess, like your sense of direction. The world is going to need that, okay? You're meant to be a leader, okay? So um, I hope that is um, helpful for some of you who are dealing with this. I feel that it's going to be a very, very good year for you guys, Taurus, okay? So take care of yourself, and uh, I'll be back for the mid-month reading, or I'll see you next month, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, also, happy uh, birthday as well for those who are celebrating, okay? Take care of yourself. Bye.